back again with another awesome Instagram Q&A video with amazing members from my community over on Instagram answering questions that I can then bring you their answers. Here's why. I have a tendency to see Las Vegas with rose-colored glasses. I love the city so, so much. I have a hard time saying anything bad. I will always be honest with you, so just know that. I'm always gonna be honest, but I'm always looking at the bright side of things. So, when I go into the community, it gives me a chance to really give you the feedback from not just someone who's lived here for a long time, but for people who have just moved here, who've only been for a couple years, so that you can get what that feeling is gonna be when you get here as a new local. I basically really wanted to ask people who have just moved here or who are part of my online community, what's your favorite part of Las Vegas? Because I have my opinion, I'm definitely biased and I know where I grew up and know what I love. And I know people who are outside of Las Vegas look up and do their research and think that it's only Henderson and only Summerlin that are really cool. But I'm here to tell you, there are so many amazing places in Las Vegas to check out and so many areas for you to see. Okay, we're just gonna jump right into it. Help Me Spock says, Fremont Street because I like the vibe. You better hit me up next time you hit Fremont because I'm down there all the time. I hang out there, I roller skate down there, I'm drinking down there, I'm having a good time with my friends. Fremont Street is legit one of the coolest areas of town. Not just the parts of Fremont Street that are the touristy areas, but around Fremont Street in the Arts District on Main Street and just downtown in general is a total vibe. If you're looking for a little bit of a less expensive experience in Las Vegas and something that gets you a little bit more connected to the locals, Fremont Street's where it's at, baby. Thank you so much, help me Spock. Cam Kiriad says Chinatown for all the different Asian cuisines and the large Asian supermarkets. I've been meaning to go and check out some of those Asian supermarkets because I know they have some really unique foods from all around the world. So that's a really good point and I'm really glad you brought up Chinatown. Chinatown has some awesome bars, little restaurants, little hidden gems that, I mean, it's almost too many for one person to really figure out. So if you're in Vegas, just know, Chinatown's only about a 10 minute drive from the Strip and you can really just walk around and find your way around and see what kind of cuisine you wanna experience, what kind of shopping you wanna do. Chinatown's where it's at, baby. Daniel Vegas Lending, hey Daniel. He's a really great lending partner of ours. You should definitely follow him on Instagram. He's amazing. He said the Northwest because I live here. Let's just talk about the Northwest for a minute. I'm gonna put this down. Let's just talk about the Northwest for a minute. Northwest is a pretty big area of town, right? It gives you a little bit of mountain views, a little bit more of a rural experience, but then you're seeing some of the views of the city that I'm telling you, you'll never see anywhere else. They have some amazing parks and just really awesome experiences over there for the families that live there. If you're looking for a little bit more room, a little bit more space, a little bit more land around your home, Northwest is an amazing area. Really good point, Daniel, thank you. Krista Fortin One says, my favorite part of Las Vegas has to be Lake Las Vegas. It's such a beautiful spot. I have to agree with Kristen. Lake Las Vegas has activities, beautiful homes, is in a very kind of um, secluded area of the city when it comes to that section of town. And it is really a special experience. You're right next to Lake Mead. You've got beautiful Valley of Fire access right behind there. You're right by Boulder City. I mean, it's just in this really cool little pocket of town and a very luxurious experience at that. So thank you, that was a really good suggestion. Heike B. Kish says Sunrise Manor because my dad lives there. I love Sunrise Manor. I actually grew up sort of near Sunrise Manor, so it definitely has a special place in my heart. It's an older area of town. There are new homes available as well, but the general section of that part of town is an older area. Not quite as close to the freeway, so you have a little bit more of a drive to really get into the neighborhood. So if you're looking for a more rural experience, definitely Sunrise Manor is the place to go. And beautiful views of the city, again, of course. Trisser Trace says, I like Centennial Hills. I'm 20 minutes from Mount Charleston and 20 minutes from Red Rock. Yes, please. So Centennial Hills is sort of in that northwest part of town that I was just talking about where you get access to all those great outdoor activities. Honestly, Centennial Hills is its own little subdivision in that area of town. And the homes are beautiful. You really are close to everything. Not only freeway access down into the city, I think you're about 20 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip in the Centennial Hills area, depending on traffic. Really good point. Thank you, Trista Trace. A. Assen says, Southern Highlands because you just might catch Floyd Mayweather jogging at 2 a.m. around your block. Floyd Mayweather, I didn't realize he lived in Southern Highlands. So now we're gonna go to the south part of town. Southern Highlands is on the left side of I-15 when you're coming into town. And I gotta say, some of the most beautiful custom homes, some approachable homes too, so don't worry, it's not just for expensive homes, really beautiful parks. It's a gorgeous master plan community that just has almost, you never have to leave Southern Highlands. Everything you want is right there. You've got your Target, you've got your Walmart, you've got all your shopping, really cool small businesses, really great restaurants, and parks galore. So if you have a family and you're thinking about bringing your family here and you're looking and wondering about a good area of town for that, Southern Highlands is a good one. Thank you, A. and I appreciate it. Wheels and Warriors says Summerlin. First of all, I'm just super happy that you love living in Summerlin, that you love that area of town. Summerlin is amazing. Let's just let's just cut the BS. They have over 150 parks in Summerlin area alone. 
Every single area in that um, subdivision and all of the little housing subdivisions have their own little parks inside of their communities. There's some gated, some ungated, but generally it's just beautiful. You know, it's loved for a reason. So thank you so much, Wheels and Warriors. That was awesome. R.A. Sawyer says, simply because I had the wrong idea of it, North Las Vegas. It's nice and calm and fun up here. Thank you so much for saying North Las Vegas. North Las Vegas definitely gets a bad rap, honestly, because it's really big and there are like two or three small sections that get a little dicey. But beyond that, North Las Vegas has some of the most beautiful homes you're gonna see in Las Vegas. You get a little bit more bang for your buck, which is awesome. You're close to the Speedway. If you're a military family coming in here, you're close to Nellis Air Force Base. You're also gonna be close to some of the newest developments of the new homes in town. Quick secret, you get a little bit more land with some of those non-HOA, uh, non-master plan communities out there. So like I said, when there's land to be developed, you have a little bit more flexibility so definitely ask us about that if you reach out to our team odd basilisk 7185 says Thule Springs fossil beds yes we have so much amazing just outdoor experiences right parks areas where you can learn about just nature things like that and Thule Springs is not only a development where you can buy a home but nearby is actually the fossil beds that you can go and explore yourself so really good suggestion I love that and it's a beautiful area of town to live Last one is from the Golden Hera. She says, where I lived near Aliante, it had everything you needed by, from a store perspective. And she's right. So Aliante is kind of the last stop on the northeast side of town before you head out of town towards the Speedway. Uh, if you're an NASCAR fan, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're an EDC fan, you'll know what I'm talking about. That's an area where they host a lot of really cool events throughout the year. And Aliante is just a really special and it's actually special to me. Before I left my corporate career, I actually was the director of marketing at Aliante Station Casino. We built it from the dirt to the ground up and we opened up that casino in 2008 and I had the luxury of being able to see what that community felt like and, and really breathed and, and smelled like and tasted like all while we were doing it. I was up there for a very long time building that casino before we opened it. There are a lot of green parks, a lot of rolling hills and again I just want to reiterate one more time North Las Vegas especially near Aliante you can get a lot of bang for your buck. Keep North Las Vegas and keep Aliante on your list and again it's only about 18 minutes from the middle of the city to go to the strip. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm loving doing these Instagram Q and A's. I'm loving getting feedback and not having it just be my opinion that you're hearing on the channel all the time. If you need help or you want more advice or you're looking for literally anything to know about Las Vegas, there is a link in the description below. If you're enjoying my channel and you watch, my sh watch anything of what, the content that I put out, please subscribe, please like this video. Like it anyway, even if you already do subscribe. By subscribing and liking and commenting, it actually helps YouTube see our channel and then it'll present it to more people. And I don't know about you, but I'm all about spreading the love about Las Vegas. I want as many people in the world to know how awesome it is, whether they move here or just visit. So if you like my videos, make sure you're liking them, actually clicking the like button every time you watch. And then of course, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything new. We'll see you next time.